Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are working with the Basically Amazing Printable Scrapbook Album Templates and we are working with the size B. There are four sizes, A, B, C, and D. This is, our A is the largest and D is the smallest. So this is um, the next down from the largest. And we are using a printable, actually two printables, two printable backgrounds or, or what do you, what would you call it? Two printable papers <laughs> from Amity Bloom. And I have those linked down below. So this album is called Pastel Florals. And one of the paper collections is called Pastel Ornament. And the other one is called Floral Collage, I believe. I have them linked in the description box. But it's two printable papers, four designs in each paper. So that's what we're using for this album. We are also using, whoop, we are also using the Basically Amazing Foundations in the Vintage Loose Leaf. And we only used it a little bit so far. So today we're going to do the covers. Uh, we're going to start on the inside and we're going to work our way to the outside. But this is the Vintage Loose Leaf background design that comes on the set of templates along with the set of plain templates. But these are linked in my uh, description box down below and they're available in many different background designs. So you just choose your background design and you get a free set of plain and a free guide that comes with it. There is also a playlist specifically for this album. So there's a video playlist. It starts from the beginning. It works its way to the end. The first one is an introduction to the templates. The second one is a flip through of the prototypes I made before I released the templates. And then the third one is the add-on photo mats. And then that should be the cover, should be the next one after that. But I will link that up here and down below if you want to start at the beginning. But today we're going to start on the covers. So we are going to, let's see, in the last video we added the tissue. We added the faux photos and we added the finishing touches on the binding, or not on the binding, on the fins. If you want to see that video specifically, I will link it up here. And there's also timestamps for each one of those items. So if you wanted to just see how we added the tissue onto the pages, um, in between the pages, then there's a timestamp in the description box of that video. But okay, so let's start on the cover. So I have already printed off what I need and traced what I needed. So let me show you. This is my workbook. This is, I did not make this one on camera. But it's made the same way I made the Crafty Companion workbook, I think. That was the last one I made. I have a, I have a playlist of all the different workbooks that I have made over the years. Um, I will link that up here and down below in the description box if you want to check it out. But again, I did not make this workbook on camera, but it was made the same as the last one in that playlist. So on page 2B, is that is the main base page for this size album. And I'm going to put some more tape because I have... I somehow unsticked it too much. <laughs> but the mat for the cover is on page 50B. So what I've done is I have printed page 50B onto the last two papers that we had not used yet in this album. So this paper here comes from the Floral Collage collection, and this paper comes from the Pastel Ornament collection, I think. So these are the last two that we haven't used in the pages yet. So I thought we would line the inside covers with these. But then I also thought, but looking at this paper, I thought it might be fun to make a pocket and just like cut a slit. So I was thinking about that and I decided if we're going to be tucking things in, into a pocket, then we needed to have a smooth uh, surface underneath. So then I traced two of these pages onto onto coffee stained paper. Okay, I have a link down below uh, to Etsy if you want to purchase some coffee stained paper. It's not my link, it's not my listing, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not my listing, but a lot of people uh, do make coffee stained paper or tea stained paper and they will sell it. So if you wanted to purchase some or just do it yourself, then check out that link below. So I traced two of these out onto coffee stained paper and I've already put tape on the back of them because I want to make sure it stays good and stuck. So this is just one inch score tape that I stuck on the back of these. So let me move the book really quick. And before I trim that out, I'm not even, I'm not even going to, um, I'm not even going to ink these up or anything. I'm just going to stick them down 
because if I put, let's say I stick this here without this, and I stick this on here and I've cut a slit and I've got a pop, well it's gonna get stuck. So it's kind of like to make it smooth. I know I'm kind of, I feel like I'm kind of wasting some pretty coffee stained paper, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. <laughs> Or I could, like for this one, for example, I could, in the back, I could maybe just use half of it um, and have the coffee stained paper on one side. Does that make sense? I could maybe do that. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to remove the backing really quick. This is a, let me move this, get this out of the way. This is a We Are Memory Keepers sticky, no, is it sticky piercer? Does that sound right? Sticky piercer. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't, I'm pretty sure this was not what it was intended for, but that's okay. So I'm just going to bring this over here and line this up. Well, I don't even have to line it up. Let me, I got a little extra hangover here. I better cut that off. Um, all the products that I use, I have linked in an Amazon list specifically for this album if you would like to check that out. I'm going to go off this edge. It's not really going to matter, I don't think. Okay, let's press that down. Let me use a bone folder. So all the things that I use that I can, I can link in my Amazon list for you guys for this album if you want to check that out. All right, so let's flip to the back here and do the same thing. You know what though, if I do decide to only use part of this paper and I want to add a closure, I might want to leave one side uh, open at the top. So if I have to, if I have to reach in and stick something under, that's what I'm gonna do. Just in case, I'm gonna leave this one long piece of tape there the backing on there because I might have to add a closure in later underneath this paper maybe so just in case let's just do that so that I don't um, so I have that option okay let's burnish this down Right, so that's that's uh, <laughs> that's lifted up. <laughs> oh wait, just in case I need to to slide something under there, like some ribbon or whatnot, I've got that option available to me. I should have done it here, but if we use the full link, the full page, we can just keep that top open. Does that make sense? Okay, now I'm gonna get my paper trimmer out, and I'm gonna trim these two. This was just printed on two white cardstock. I have it linked in my Amazon. It is actually 80 pounds cardstock. I'm going to trim all of these out. I think I might have even put my printer, the actual, the EcoTank printer that I've been using. I think I actually put that in there too, but um, I needed my printer to be able to do more than just print. So there's other versions of that printer. It's a wide format printer. So you can check that out, but um, I have a link to my printer down there as well. And in, in the Amazon list, I mean. Okay. I'm going to ink these edges up really quick. This is just Walnut Stain Distress Oxide. I'm just going to get that white edge that's all the way around. I think what I'm going to do is in order for these to be the same, front and back. I'm going to just place them right on top of each other and we are going to kind of slit, I think. I might have to be a little careful. Oops. So this is a We Are Memory Keepers. Is it a Cropodile? Is that what this one's called? A Cropodile? Yes. And it punches holes and then it also sets like uh, grommets and things like that. But it's got like a small hole. And what we're going to do, I'm going to measure this actually first. 
There is a little measurement thingy, maybe not a half an inch, maybe more than, no, half an inch is good. Um, there's a little measuring thing on the side here, and on the eighth inch side, I'm going to put it at a half an inch. And because there's a line there, I'm just going to place this right on in there, right on that line, and poke a hole. Or punch a hole, not poke a hole. I'll do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And then I'm going to grab, this is a score mat. Score pal, score mat. Scoring mat, not a score mat, I'm sorry, a score mat? <laughs> this is a score pal cutting mat. And I'm going to go and slice through both of these from hole to hole. I am going to slice with my craft knife all the way through. It should have, it should be, yep. So I've cut between, I've cut, I've cut between, <laughs> I've cut both pieces. So now what I'm going to do is ink this edge up. Just like that. So the this is going to be the pocket like this. Okay? And so the reason you want to do the holes on the end of that slit is because that prevents it from tearing further. Or at least it helps it not tear any further. Okay. Just as simple as that. Did I not get this edge? Okay, so this is the pocket. This is the pocket. So we don't want any tape on those parts of the pocket. Okay, so I have decided we're going to leave them whole. So I can probably attach this piece of coffee stain paper down on that edge and just leave these top ends open. So I'm going to take my one inch tape and then my nifty little tool, my nifty little tool that Pat made for me. And I'm going to run a strip. This is the edge that is going to be at the edge of the book. That's where you want to put your first long strip. Just like that. We're going to do it to this one too. Have you guys made yourself one of those tools yet? They're so cool. I mean, it's such a neat idea. I love it. Okay. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to end up putting liquid glue at the bottom here because we don't want things to get stuck onto um, tape, on, onto a dry adhesive, but we do want to run some tape along the sides, I think, or at least up here on this part, and then the rest of it will be liquid glue. So up to that point where we did the circle. That's where you want to put some tape. All right, because it's going to be in the book like that. That's going to be the pocket. That's going to be in the book like this. That's the pocket, and this is going to be stuck down. Yep, yep. So I'm not really sure what kind of closure we're going to use. So this way, if I leave that top open, I'm giving myself a choice. Options, I guess is a better word. And then let's run some tape along the edge that is going to be stuck down like that. Same on this one. Whoa. All right, and then let's burnish those down. All right, so first, 
Let's take the tape back off of this and put this down because we're going to leave the other piece open. Alright, so which one's the back? So we're going to put this color, this one on the back like this. Okay, so let's remove the tape backing and then we're going to use glue to glue the rest of it down. use art glitter glue and let's go uh oh maybe not oh I wasn't supposed to take that off did you guys catch me is this the right one good enough I wasn't supposed to take the backing off I bet you guys were yelling to stop Sheesh. My brain is going 100 mile a minute these days. <laughs> Thanks for getting clogged up glue. You saved me. Well, maybe we won't use our glitter glue. Okay. Let's use our Fabri-Tac by Beacon. Can you believe that? I almost messed my own plan up. That happens more often than not, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to go along this edge and along the bottom. Nope, I almost went off there. Go along this edge like that. And that is it. So we're going to stick this on here. So we've got liquid glue right there, and it's oozing out a little. I don't think I've ever used Fabri-Tac without it oozing just a little. <laughs> but you can rub it off, it's totally fine. And so we still got this part open, right here, right? But then we've also got, now we've got ourselves a little shallow pocket. I like it. I like it. All right, let's do the same thing to the front. Except we're going to leave that piece there. We're not going to mess that up this time. So I thought it'd be fun to have these little pockets so that you could put extra pictures in or stuff or photo mats or whatever that you might like to have. Look at me shaking. Whoop, 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 whoop. Or a place to put some extra like ephemera and things that you might have. Um, I think it's good to have a little something, a little place somewhere in your album. So let's do it on the front and back cover, on the inside front and back cover. All right. Add that in. Oh, I didn't burnish that down. I didn't burnish it down on the back. So now, oh, that's not, I forgot. We haven't tucked that down yet. But now we have a pocket here. Whoops. It's still, it's still wet there. We got a pocket there. And we have a pocket here. Perfect. So that's the front and back cover. That was easy. Or inside front and back cover. That was easy. I like. Okay. Okay, I was playing around on what I want. I don't know what I want to do with my cover. And I was grabbing all the pieces, the cutoff pieces from all of the pages that we did. And I was looking at my mock up, my prototype. It Look, looks like this. You know, I didn't want to do this exact thing, but I do like these corner pieces. So I want to do that. Um, so I thought, well, 
I might just go ahead and turn the camera on and just commit and just do it as we go. <laughs> so I did print in the in the uh, templates. I did print as page ninety um, eight. This page right here is this is the like Polaroid type things. I did print. I need one of these. I did print this off in the vintage loose leaf because I do like the look of that from the prototype and the mat. I just have. Um, I just. I printed these off and I just cut the center out for the mat, not the mat, but for the um, for the inside there. So I do want to make sure I have that so I can trace it. Oh, and then the photo corners are on page. This was from another video. I just had a bunch of them already made. What page are they on? Where are they? I think they might be back here. There's some on page 48. And then there should be a whole page of them, I thought. I thought there were anyway. Have I forgotten my own templates? I mean, that's possible. Oh, yeah, 47. There's a whole page of them. <laughs> Page 47. So I was thinking about using those. I've already got some that have already been. No, that's not them. Where are that? They were already cut and taped up and everything. So I've been thinking about. So I'm just going to focus on my front cover right now so I can just kind of get a feel for what I want to do. I was thinking about maybe doing one for each corner. So since I've already got these all inked up and taped and everything. Not inked up, but taped. I'm gonna take and prep them just like I was doing the photo corners. We're gonna go ahead and cut them and then fold them and ink them. We're not, I don't think I'm going to mat them. I say that, but again, I just decided to turn the camera on while I was playing just so that I would make myself commit. Because sometimes, you know, when I plan things out, you know, I've already planned it out off camera, you know, and then I come and record and it's like easy, quick, boom, boom, boom. But I thought let's do it a little different this time. <laughs> Why not? So I'm going to go ahead and fold these over. And also, I have limited time. Today, uh, my son is in the school play. He's a senior in high school. And they are doing their school play debuts tonight. I, they, I think they already did it for the kids at school. But there's the school play that he's in and tonight's like the for everyone to see time where's that called opening night <laughs> for the school play so i don't have a whole lot of time before i have to stop working and get ready for that so maybe that'll make me work a little bit smarter about what i'm doing here so i'm just inking these up really good Right, so I thought I would put one of these on each corner of the book. And you know what? Let me move this. I don't need this here. You know what else I want to do? I'm going to ink the edges. I'm going to do this really quick. I'll do the rest of the edges, like on the inside and the outside. I mean, the inside and the back. I'll do that off camera. But for now, I want to get these inked up really quick. So if I do start gluing stuff down, I don't have to go, oh no, wait a minute. Okay, make sure I've got the front. I do. So I thought. And I could probably go ahead and do this. Just commit these corners. Let's do it. Let's just do it. They can always be removed if necessary. Oops. But 
you could put, if you wanted to, you could put some metal corners on here. We might do that. I don't know. Might be kind of cute. Let's do this top one. Now, on my prototype, I didn't do these two corners, so I don't know yet if I want to do those or not. Okay, so I've got this. I kind of wanted that to be my centerpiece somewhere in this in this cover and then I had pulled all these things out um, obviously these things are going to be too tall but I thought uh, making myself nervous I think I thought well we can just start ripping some things down And let me go ahead and grab a piece of cardstock. I'm going to trace this out onto white cardstock. I'm going to cut it out, ink it up, and then put it on the cover, maybe. Or put it on the um, thing there. So this would be the photo, right? So like... I could also use pattern paper. So this one's not an exact number. So I'm gonna use, it's not an exact like photo size, so I'm gonna use the place photo here stamp right there. And get some photo corners. It's just so we could get a full picture of what we got going on here. batteries are getting ready to die you guys I hope it doesn't die right this minute it's about ready to so then you place this over top of where that opening is so you have something that looks like that Okay, and I'm going to rough up this edge. Boy, pay no attention to my fingernails this week because, man, they are bad. I have spent zero time on myself lately. Okay. So I was thinking about something like this, which I like, but...
I have an idea. I'm going to cut a piece of paper down. I have an idea. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right. So what I've done is I traced the cover, the mat cover, the cover to the mat, the mat, <laughs> the mat to the cover onto plain old copy paper. I traced it twice. And then on the second piece, I cut it down a half an inch on off the top and a half an inch, a half an inch off the side. And what we'll do is we'll attach everything down to this piece here. Um, so let me move this, all this out of the way. So that way we're not attaching it directly down to the cover. We're just attaching it. So I'm going to put a little tiny dab of tape runner in the middle of this sheet here that we're going to stick on top. And that way, uh, you see how it's like a quarter of an inch? You probably can't because it's white. Because I want to, I want to glue over top of this edge because we're going to take this top sheet and we're going to go directly onto the cover with it. This is what I'm thinking. Okay. So that being said, let's use some Fabri-Tac Fun Beacon. Did I, did, did that end up being, no, I just haven't. I just need to be careful not to smoosh it around. Okay, we gotta keep that close by. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna start with these outer edges and then just kind of work my way from there. So the bottom layer is what I'm going to start with. And I don't think I'm going to ink anything up right now. So I'm not going to go all the way to the edge of this. Whoa. So I'm going to just lay this on here and I'm going to make sure I overlap that edge with that paper both top and bottom. Just like that. Right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go too close to the edge. I'm using Fabri-Tac because it'll give us a minute to wiggle it around if we need to. So then there's that. Might be a little over too far. And then we can just start layering different things like this. Like we can do it this way. So let's just do that. I should take a picture. I'm going to take a picture. Let's see if I can follow that picture. All right, let's just take things off a little bit at a time here. This one's stuck down. These two are not. This is not. Let's just start sticking stuff down. I 
I'm, I could be quite honest here and say 100% that this is not where I thought this was going to go. <laughs> but I hope you guys like it anyway. Even though it's not exactly what I was thinking, but it's pretty good. Okay, sorry about that. My car got full. I had to switch it. You probably wouldn't even never know if I hadn't told you. <laughs> okay, so let's try this out. Let's take it off of the the sheet. Oh, whoop, the sheet back here, and then let's look and see. There's only a little bit of white showing, so let's just tear that off. All right, just a little. And then down here. Right? So now we've got a solid sheet that we can play with here. So let's stick this in here. Let's just see what this looks like. in there easy as one two three right what do we think of that and then this would be here do we like it what do we think I wish I could hear you guys talking and telling me what you think. What do you think? What do you think? I think that looks pretty cool. Do you think this needs like a... This needs something, doesn't it? Does it need to be on? Something? Like a frame? Does it need to stand out from the background a little? Let's see what that looks like. It's kind of a thought. Let's see. Whoa, oh my goodness, I almost knocked my water over. I'm gonna try to like roll it a little bit. be kind of cool. It might be. kind of cool. I kind of like that.
Well, let's go it down. Let's see. Or yeah, let's let's just. Oh, we haven't even glued that down yet, have we? Well, I didn't even think about that when I stuck it in there. I wrote page 99 on the back of it, so I wouldn't forget what page number I printed. And would it look weird if I had it? Yeah, it would look weird if I had it cattywonked. I feel like there needs to be like now that I've done that I need to add another strip of blue or something over here because I covered it all up Right, I wonder, right? Does that make it look a little bit more? I think maybe it does. Okay, look at there. I didn't even get my lid on. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and let's put it down. Let's just commit. Two corners in. Let's slide these two corners in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is gonna go right on top. Let's just glue it down. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. up a little so I decided to do the back super plain I did the photo corners just like I did the front cover and then I just did a full sheet of one of the printable papers and I tried to get this in the center so I traced it out to where this would be in the center so I think that it would be nice and see it's that we can still slip stuff in there if we wanted to but since it's the back and it's either going to be laying flat on a table or in your lap, I think that it might be just fine just being like that. I think it looks good like that. 
not as busy as the front, but still super pretty. You could have done the front cover just like that and it'd have been super pretty too. So then I did the spine piece. Um, I went ahead and traced that out. And this was actually supposed to be like a bluish color, but for whatever reason, my printer printed this a little bit on the green side, but I like it. So it was just one of the cutoff pieces from one of the, sh one of the pages. So I just, you know, I thought that was cool. So I was looking at my strips. I have little strips left and I have this one. I thought instead of making like a label, like stamping the label, like the Tim Holtz label, I thought it might be fun if we made our own. So I took like a little snippet, move some stuff here, a little piece, and then we can angle the corners, or maybe we should do the small angle. This is a We Are Memory Keepers punch here. So we could do like the little small angle. Can you see that? Little small angle, maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to stamp on it and put the date or anything, but you guys kind of get the, whoa, something's not right here. Yeah, something's not right. That's not doing it right. Hmm. That's okay. I'm just going to go with it. Just gonna have to go with it. So I thought then I could back it with something else like this, like put it on another strip for a different color, another color, you know? So let's take this blue. Wow, I didn't even cut that straight. It's messed up. Well, let's ink it first. these edges up. All right, let's ink this up really quick. I'm going to cut it just a little bit because I don't, I don't like the way it cut that so deep. Let's ink this up. And it could be like this. And we can maybe roll these little corners a little. And maybe even use some brads. Where's my brads? Where's my brads? Here they are. And now I've got ink all over the place. Just to add a little pizzazz. The top and the bottom here. Don't worry about those sticking out on the side. I'm going to cut them off with my scissors. I guess I could turn it. I only have to cut one off with my scissors. With your Tim Holtz scissors, you can cut little thin metal like that. Just make sure that you capture it so it doesn't go flying. Oop, like that one just did. So these are rusted. These are little rusted breads. I did them a long, 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 long time ago. I have a video on it though, if you want to check it out. So I'm going to glue this down, not directly in the center. can like roll the tops just like we did with the photo mat there the top and the bottom 
and then we can glue that down and that can be our spine piece or we can even have it in the middle I don't often do that you want to put it in the middle then it kind of looks like a handle let's put it up top we don't need it to look like a handle do we Just like that. Okay, you guys. So for right now, I would say these covers are done. I'm still not sure what I want to do for closure. Um, so what I might do is I might make one more video in this album because there's our front cover, which I think turned out super pretty. There's the spine, and then there's the back. I might do one more video to do to do the closure and then I might even do I might even do like a mock-up using black cardstock with the same paper just to show you what it would look like maybe do a little small version or something maybe I'll just do a mock-up page but that's what I'll do I will do one more video in this album where I do the closure maybe show you some different uh, alternatives different ideas instead of just using coffee stain paper and all of that so we'll see but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.